Hey friends, welcome to Runaway Trains. Uh, from our hall today, we picked up these wonderful AHM streetcars. And something I just noticed was uh, here where it said lighted non-powered, I just assumed that both of these were the same. But when I look at this and I read it closer, HO locomotive, it looks like this is powered. So we might have actually got something very special here. A good bang for our buck as this was only 10 bucks as is. And we'll see if it runs and we'll see what it does see if it even lights up but we really wanted this as scenery for our point-to-point -point trolley system on our layout so we're going to go ahead we're going to open this up my name's joe and my son drake here he's going to get the trusty razor out start opening this i want to give a shout out to the original whistle stop of pasadena california We have a Bachman point point system on a single shelf. That's an L shape. We'll show you later. And we're expanding on that, and we want to do a scene from our town, uh, a historical scene that we're going to try and recreate. And we thought we could use these cars. We could even paint them uh, with the Pacific red cars. We're going to kind of hoping to do there. Which one did we open first? This is the, the lighted non-powered. From what I can see there, it looks like they're linked together. You can see there's a coupler there. How are they looking? All right. You know how it is when you get used stuff. You expect it to be a little used, and that's why it's called used. And uh, this one definitely has a little dust on it. It's probably sitting in somebody's layout scene for a long time and boxed it up. And, but uh, I can see how the, this is going to attach to the other one here. So on the bottom, the other one. This one's a little bit more heavier. A little heavier. It's got a little more weight to it. Yeah, this one's powered. Mm -hmm. Let's see, see a motor in there. Yeah. Can we get a close up of that? And you can see this actually silhouettes of uh, passengers and the electrical. I don't know if they call that a pantograph like they would on some of the other trains. And uh, they actually do need to do that. So let's get a good look at that. This is uh, an AHM. Street cars. Never they picked it up. I can hear the bell ringing in my mind, and I can hear the crowds of people walking around in the city. I can smell the uh, the pretzels and the uh, pre uh, pretzels and the chestnut vendors. <laughs> okay, we'll take that over to the layout and see what it does. Started. Hang on. So here's the moment of truth. Is it gonna work? Fingers crossed. Oh my gosh. Need a little help? Maybe a little cleaning? It's all it needs. Or just a little bit more. Ah, I think a little more juice. You think it'll make it up Gordon's Hill over here? Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna do it. We might need to check and clean it. We'll have to take a, a different route. This is really exciting, folks, you know? Not a bad $10 spent today. Let's see, it might need a little push and it's way in the back over there. All right, let's give it a little juice, so I'll give it a little push. Crank it up, crank it up. I think I just knocked it off. There we go. Yeah, you knocked it off. Uh, there, I think that's better. Go ahead. It needs a little push. You got that bell ring in there? Just let it run for a little bit, you know, and then 
see how it goes. We may need to. You guys familiar with Carney's restaurant? To show you a little bit of the layout while it's going around here. We got some Easter eggs. Some of you guys may recognize what that is. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> some of you guys may recognize one of those guys. Go ahead and leave a comment. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to end up taking this trolley over to our bench, give it a little service, give it a little cleaning, a little bit of lube. All right, here we are over at the point to point system we wanted to show you a little bit. We're going to check and see if this is running. And uh, so let's go ahead and give it a little power. We've got one of the Bachman point to point systems here. We've expanded on it a little bit over the past couple months, added a couple tracks, but it goes kind of from one end of the garage to the corner and then it turns just kind of like an L shape. We didn't want to try and incorporate that into the, the layout here because you know, our, our space is limited, but we figure, you know, build up instead of build on top of itself, we uh, sort of built up the walls and then we're working on an Atlas system up there. Um, but this is the Bachman point to point set that we uh, purchased a few months back. And then we're gonna test out our trolleys. Let's see what they do here. And uh, we're getting a little power there. Maybe give it a little bump. Should, should light up, should get some power here. We're beyond the point on the, uh, the tracks where it starts to reverse itself. And now you can hear it taking off. That's it. These are a lot of fun. You know, if you don't have a lot of space, you can put these kind of on the perimeter of your room. And obviously you can see we probably need to service this train. It may need some of the, um, what do they call those under the wheels? They're like rubber bands, traction tires, traction right? Traction tires, yeah. And then it gets to about there and it stops and then it reverses. It's a lot more noisy in reverse. Yeah, I mean, it's not a real uh, exciting thing, but you know, you can do scenes all along the outside of it. So in the end, we decided to separate our trolleys. So one could stay at the end of the line over here. And we have the other one that works much better on its own. Very strong runner. Not bad for the price that we paid and to enjoy having a point to point system right here with our trolley. Thanks for watching.